Hi everyone, welcome to another video from Crafty Terrain. And if you don't know by now, my name's Lee. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make this awesome like forest end or scatter terrain out of just pieces of driftwood or old branches that you can find in a park or something like that. Okay, so it's going to be a real quick, cheap, easy build. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, so to make this forest and or scatter terrain, um, mostly what I'm going to be using, so I've, I've recently been to the coast, been to uh, North Wales, Landudno, so shout out to anyone in Landudno, beautiful town with the fantastic beaches. Um, I basically collected some driftwood off the shore and I just thought this is going to make real great, look at the texture on that. And that is just natural. You're literally not going to need to paint that. You're not going to need to do anything to it. All I've done is I've put it in the oven for 30 minutes on a high heat to kill any like bacteria or anything that could be growing on it. Um, and then for the base, we're going to be using this Fomex stuff. Um, so it cuts easy. I don't need any power tools or anything like that. I'm just going to be cutting with a sharp knife. So what you want to do, start out with the Sharpie. Think about how you want your like pieces to look and then just draw around the shape in which you're gonna want the base to fit around the piece, okay? Leave some room to look, because we're gonna add lots of flock and bushes and things like that to this piece to make it um, fit in with that forest. So something along them lines, and then just do the same for the rest of your pieces. Imagine how you want them to sit, and you know, something, I'm gonna probably stack them up, something like that, so and then draw your next one. Look so, and then once you're happy and you've got all them, just start cutting them out, okay? Okay, so for the next stage, um, so let's just take a look, sorry, before we move to the next stage. They are nicely beveled now. You can see them smooth edges and that will blend with your board really nice. Um, you've got two ways in which you could do this. You could decide now to glue on your um, pieces of wood and your branches and stuff, and then build up your ground cover around them. Um, I'm not doing it that way because I want to paint these with a spray can, so I just want to try and get these done very, very quick. Um, so I'm gonna go for my ground cover first, then spray paint them brown, and then stick my logs on. So that's the way in which I'm doing it. So for my ground cover, I'm using um, Luke's APS modeling compound and um, have some in a tub add your water and then mix it up and you're looking to mix it into a consistency so it's like a sandwich filling something like you know like a tuna mayo or something like that and then you're just going to spread that out on the base okay so that needs a little bit more water Give it a good mix, let the, uh, the compound soak up all the water. It gets that nice consistency that we want, and I'll show you that in a minute. This is looking pretty good. So if we show you that there, that's sort of the consistency we're looking for. Then all you're gonna do is just put this on and flatten it out, and that'll act as your ground cover. Just go around the whole piece, put it where you want it, and it just builds up, gives you that natural earth sort of look. And obviously when we add all the flocks and ground grass and um, moss and stuff, it will look really nice on top of the brown. Okay, I'm going to go and complete them, let them all dry. It takes around 30 minutes to dry hard and then you can paint it. Um, and then we'll uh, come back and take a look at the next stage. Okay, so that's all sprayed brown now. And then what we're going to look to do is just use some hot glue to stick these uh, pieces of driftwood on, so just take your hot glue, run some along the bottom to get a nice good contact, just push that through, so you should get a good hold with this glue, and then just pick where you want it to go and then just push it into place like so. And that'll just dry hard in a, in a few minutes and we'll be stuck in place. And then just follow the same process for the rest, okay? Okay, so the, the glue's dried now. Don't worry too much about anywhere where you can see hot glue underneath because we're going to hide that with like clump foliage and stuff. But the next stage now is to base 
the ground with the flock okay so for that what you're going to need is some white glue and an old brush and then just cover the whole piece in the glue okay and then that's going to give you somewhere to pour the flock and give it a good uh, place and it'll have a good bond and stick to the PVA glue okay or white glue whatever you call it um, just spread it all over the whole piece or where you want it basically if you wanted it to be a bit more muddy you could leave some mud showing through um, I'll go around and get all this on and then uh, I'll come back and show you the pour of the flock okay so covered in the glue now what I'm going to do is just take my flock. This is a blend of flocks. I've got a lighter dark and a mid-tone in this pot. Um, it's just the way I like to flock. It makes things just easy to have a mixed in the pot, makes it speedier. You can do it different ways and apply your tones differently, as in dark around the uh, closer in the shadows to the wood and stuff, and then the light over the top. But I prefer to just do it this way because so it's quicker. So what I'm doing, I'm just going around, sprinkling it on, making sure I cover all the glue. Notice that I've put a tray down to catch any excess because when we bang this off there's going to be a lot that spills out but you can just scoop that back up and put it back into your pot and you don't get any wastage basically which is always good you don't want to waste your materials and this has been a very quick build so far so as you can see cover all the glue tip it upside down give it a tap and all the excess will fall off okay You'll be left with something there and then you've got your coverage how you want just check that you're happy go around look at it make sure you haven't missed any bits and then just leave that to dry for a few hours okay um i'm going to go and put this out in the sun now so it dries quicker and then i'll show you the next finishing steps but we're almost done so all the ground covers dried now and we're getting close to all the finishing touches um, just to make it look and blend in and look very natural. So I've got a lot of stuff in front of me here I'm just gonna have a little talk through so we've got some different shades of clump foliage I've got some leaves that looks for scatter I've got some Spanish moss for vines some different shades of clump some grass tufts I've um, got some lichen or what you call reindeer moss and then I've got some twigs from the garden that you bake in the oven. And then I've got some dark green Jarvis coarse grass. And then you're just gonna build up all the scatter and blend it in and make it look like a forest. Just use your white glue and your brush. Just pop on some glue and just add things to you get happy with the look. You can go as little or as much as you want. So I'm just gonna glue the lichen on there like so. And then just you can add the grass tufts where you like. Just build it up, try and keep it looking natural, how a forest floor might look in reality. If you strip that, go on Google, use pictures for references and things like that, is always a good idea. Just stick them on. I'm gonna go around, build all these up, and then we can come back and have a look at the finished look. Okay, so I've set it up and it's all dry now and it's looking fantastic. It's been wet work, so it's all nice and solid. So none of these little leaves are gonna fall off. Now, if you wanna see wet working, go and check our video out on that. Um, as you can see, it fits really nice with the end door and everything set up. We've got all the minis on, we've got Vader and the speeder bikes and the characters from Endor. And I think we're gonna film a battle report today using this scatter terrain. And that's a nice cheap way to make a terrain. Guys, use twigs, sticks from your garden um, and then just go for it really. Just make sure you've put them in the oven to kill any bacteria. Real cheap, real quick. That's literally, if you exclude the drawing time, that's probably taking me probably two and a half to three hours just to get that done. Um, yeah, very happy with it. Let's have a battle with it. Okay, everyone, so there you have it. Real simple. Real cheap, real easy scatter terrain for your forest settings or indoor if you're playing Legion. Guys, if you've enjoyed the video, leave us a like. And if you want to see more from Crafted Terrain, remember to subscribe and click that bell. If you've got any questions, get down in the comments and let us know and we will get back to you. Stay safe and have a great day.